In this video, we're going to be talking about is no contact the best way to get an ex back? But first, my name is Clay with ModernLove.Life, where we help you get the great loving relationship that you're looking for without having to play mind games, without having to play hard to get, and without having to pretend to be someone or something that you are not, because you deserve to be loved for the unique, amazing, and wonderful person that you are. And if you agree with me, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up and by at least thinking about subscribing to the channel while you are down there. Um, you know, all that stuff does help us out with the YouTube algorithm. It helps tell YouTube, hey, you should show more of Clay's videos to people that might be interested in them, as opposed to less of Clay's videos. Do me a favor and help me out with that. Also, if you are curious about how we generally recommend that people get back together with their ex, sometimes without even using no contact, feel free to check out our course called the X Solution Program. You can find out more about it down below in the description box for this video. Anyway, I'm not gonna hard sell you on it, so check it out if you're curious. If not, no worries. Let's go ahead and get into the topic of this video, which of course is, is no contact the best way to get back together with an ex. And um, I know that this is a little bit controversial. This goes against maybe what a lot of other people that maybe you have seen online might be telling you. I know that there is this um, sacred cow belief out there that you must always do no contact 100% of the time. It's like some kind of rite of passage or something like that. Um, and it, it, sure, absolutely, there is definitely a time and place for no contact, and there are definitely circumstances where I would recommend that people do no contact. However, I don't want you to ever just switch your brain off and just kind of robotically do something. Um, and I think that a lot of people have that mentality when it comes to no contact, that it's like, okay, I need to do no contact all the time because I want to get back together with my ex. It's something that must happen in every situation. Um, or worse yet, people often think that no contact is their only tool. And whenever something isn't working out, they kind of retreat back into no contact. Oh, I found out my ex is in a rebound relationship. Let's retreat into no contact. Oh, my ex didn't uh, respond to that text message I sent them. Let's retreat into no contact. My ex and I had some sort of argument. Let's retreat into no contact. And again, that just goes back to the mentality of turning your brain off and just kind of not being present in the situation and just deferring to some sort of robotic rule, which is not something I like, not something I recommend. Um, and, you know, there's all sorts of other rules like robo texting and stuff like that. Um, but um, when it comes to should you be doing no contact, what I want you to be looking at instead of just kind of robotically doing it or doing it just because or doing it whenever something bad happens is I want you to look at the quality of the emotional connection that is happening between you and your ex. If the two of you are connected, and if the two of you are getting closer together emotionally, then, um, I mean, obviously something's working, and there's no need for you to do no contact if that is the case most of the time. Um, and if you start to do no contact, you could potentially be kind of setting yourself back here. Uh, because if what you're doing is working, if the two of you are getting closer emotionally, then keep it up, right? It's working. Why stop what's working? Um, when it comes to actually making sense to do no contact, it I would recommend that you do that if and when interacting with your ex is actually not helping you and it's actually creating a larger gap emotionally between the two of you. And, you know, at that point, it's like, okay, whatever you're doing, being in contact with one another is not helping you in this situation. So let's take a pause on the whole contact thing. Um, take a step back, look at how we're bringing ourselves to the relationship, maybe work on those advanced relational skills, link to that up there if you don't know what advanced relational skills are, um, and work on some of the other things about how we are bringing ourselves to the interactions between ourselves and our ex. Because if, if, if what you're doing is not working, then it makes sense to stop doing it, to stop doing further damage and to take a step back and to reevaluate what you're doing. Um, if what you are doing, being in contact with your ex is working, then hey, great, cool, take it, run with it, all of that great stuff. Um, you also want to 
be considerate about how your ex may interpret no contact. Sometimes, um, again, going with a lot of the superstitions and all that stuff that maybe you have heard about elsewhere on the internet and all of that stuff, um, you may believe that you need to just sort of cut contact with your ex because you're supposed to do it, and when you do it, you have to just sort of mysteriously vanish so that they're left wondering about why you are no longer contacting them, why you are um, suddenly silent, and this is supposed to make them curious. This is supposed to make them crawl over those broken shards of glass. I, I don't know what is up with the broken shards of glass. Someone needs, just needs to sweep them up. I don't know. Um, and it's supposed to make your ex crawl over these broken shards of glass to want to be back together with you again, to contact you, to beg for forgiveness. I don't know. Um, and that is not uh, necessarily the right way to do things because your ex may respond to that positively, but depending on your, your ex, their personality, the situation between the two of you, the nuances of the emotional connection and all of that, if you just suddenly vanish on your ex, they might take that as like, okay, when the going gets tough, you give up and walk away. And um, that is not necessarily a strong relationship signal to be sending to someone else. Uh, when the going gets tough, I give up and walk away. Um, and so if your ex is like really relationship focused, if they are, uh, you know, really an anxious person for any number of reasons or something like that, a move like that could actually do more harm. So um, you want to think about this carefully before you decide to do no contact. The last thing, once again, I, I want you to do is for you to just turn your brain off and to just robotically do no contact as if it's some sort of like... I don't know, thing that m mysteriously works all the time, right? Um, no contact makes a lot of sense if you actually look at what's going on on an emotional level. Um, and if you are tuned into what's going on on an emotional level, you can kind of discern whether or not you should or shouldn't do no contact. And that's really the whole point of this video, is that you want to pay attention to what is happening on an emotional level. You want to pay attention to what's happening um, between you and your ex in terms of the connection. Is the connection getting stronger? Is it getting weaker? And that can kind of help to make decisions about whether or not you should do no contact, whether or not no contact makes sense, whether or not you should tell your ex that you're going to do no contact, whether or not you should just mysteriously vanish and lay broken shards of glass for them to crawl over if they for some reason choose to do that, um, or anything like that. So what I want you to do is I want you to stay present, do not check yourself out mentally and just sort of robotically do no contact, but I want you to look at the emotional context that's happening, look at what is happening emotionally. Are the two of you getting closer together? Are you getting further apart emotionally? If you were considering doing no contact, how is it going to land emotionally? Are there ways that you can recontextualize it and make it so that it's something that your ex understands, something that actually helps to clear out any emotional resistance that might potentially be standing between you and your ex? All sorts of things like this. And that is what's going to help you to actually create a stronger reason for the two of you to actually get back together emotionally. So sometimes no contact makes sense. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Um, is no contact the best way to get an ex back? Sometimes, but you have to be looking at what's happening on an emotional level first and foremost before you just turn your brain off and follow some sort of arbitrary plan, like do no contact for X number of days and then send them this message that reminds them of the good old days and then get together for coffee and then suddenly the two of you are back together. Can that work? Sometimes if what's happening on an emotional level is supporting that kind of timeline of events. But if it's not, we need to focus in on what's happening on the emotional level and kind of gently steer that towards um, towards a better emotional connection. So that's my opinion on this whole no contact rule. 
Once again, if you do want to learn how to navigate through your ex's emotional world and get back together with them, potentially without using no contact, again, there is a time and place for it, but potentially without using no contact, um, you may be interested in the X Solution program. You can find information on that down below in the description box below this video. But once again, my name is Clay with Modern Love Life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, do me a favor by giving this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to learn more more about these advanced relational skills that I mentioned earlier, you might want to check out this video series over here. It really is the core foundation of what's going to help you and your ex get back together, that emotional connection. Or you might want to check out this video up here. Anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.